subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! Good morning, everybody. We are, what time is it now? Let's see, it is coming up for 6 a.m. We thought we were gonna do another eating video, but we're gonna actually show you us eating our food because last time we didn't. Made up of one, two, three, six meals. So meal one consists of one protein and one carbohydrate. So I'm gonna make that at the moment. I quite like the diet because you can, you've got a few different choices. It's not just eggs and porridge or um, meat and whatever. It's, it's There's a lot of um, different options. So today I'm gonna have some porridge I'll have my protein, so I might put into a big giant three kilo bag, the way. I really like these little cup things, like stainless steel cup. They just keep your drinks nice and cool, which is pretty cool. <laughs> it's a training day today, so um, we'll see what we eat throughout the day for training. So I have three scoops of protein. Um, that's one measure of protein. Add a little bit of water. Proteins and the protein and the porridge, sorry. Base gates, so that'll be fine. Some strawberries with my porridge. So, about four minutes on that. The diet at the moment is uh, still pretty clean at the moment. And then a few hour burgers and fries before training. That's what it is that'll come in. So we were chatting to Nathan a few days ago. He was asking how it's going, if we're feeling, or if I'm feeling fatigued on the diet. I'm actually feeling quite good still. So he's just, he'll introduce more kind of higher calorie meals before training um, in the run up to Worlds. Obviously we've still got uh, 10 weeks, 70 days until World's Strongest Man, I believe. So. We've still got a bit of time, a um, couple of months, two and a bit months. But as the weeks get nearer, you know, up different bits and pieces, which is good. Um, just to kind of get our bodies firing on all cylinders, I guess that's the main thing. We're going down to clean the apple stones today as well. So we're going to be all nice and ready for the weekend, which will be good. I've got my wee buddy George, he's going to come down and give me a hand. Here we have first meal of the day, my protein. Uh, whey protein there, porridge, I put a bit of fruit in that as well. Supplements, so this is some turmeric, omega 3, a couple of them. Every morning I take these supplements um, and I'll maybe do a little double up today as well, so on like heavier days, more intense days, um, I usually double up with the, the vitamins. Um, vitamin D3, I recommend everyone get some vitamin D. Alpha men. I think this is a great one. It covers all bases, so I normally dub, double up on these. But with the vitamins and minerals and stuff, they're critical to, to Tom and Mike and all the guys training um, because we're pushing our bodies extremely hard at the moment. Get these down, mate. Lovely. meal and it is only quarter past six in the morning so it's quite nice. Let's have a little look outside and see the snow and stuff. Let's go outside. Okay then. So, as you can see it's a bit snowy today so dad's been doing a lot of work in the garden so this thing here we would kind of strip that down and that would be an outside decking but we've got all that bit of land there so this is all going to be grass here maybe pod there pod there pod here communal area another communal area toilets job done there's 
a parts house over there. Um, and literally, so we walk out our house here, walk through, excuse all the junk, our old barbecue, and that's the wee gate through to Dad's house, as you can see. Right guys, so morning breakfast, hello, hello, hello. Something different today, we've got four cups full of shredded wheat and a protein shake. The new one just about done guys, cereal, protein shake, something different than eggs because sometimes you get sick of eggs, so yeah. I will see you for number two, or uno, the So meal number two, we are going for an omelette. I've only got four eggs, stupid. Um, so I'm going to have my four egg omelette and a protein shake. Um, so I'll show you the, the protein shake I'm going to have. So we've switched to um, a vegan whey isolate. Nathan has asked us to have one of those a day. So this is basically half a protein portion. I'm going to have half of my protein shake as well, just to make up the protein. Um, stupidly, I didn't buy any eggs yesterday. We were a little bit busy. As it's a training day, I'm having it with fruit. So I have a protein and a fruit. So I'll have another banana, I think. I'll do. So it's quite good waking up a little bit earlier. It's half past eight, just after half eight. 8.33 um, and I've had two meals already so that's pretty good so I'm fitting all those meals in nice and easily so this is a vegan protein uh, from my protein obviously the best supplements in the world so this is basically a, a juice it tastes like um, so normally with your I suppose your whey proteins and stuff um, it's a bit thicker, more like a milkshake, I guess, but this is just dead easy to take. I'll just do one scoop because, again, I've got half my protein from the omelette. I, I could just sip this as a juice when I'm thirsty, so that's one of the benefits, I guess, of having this type of protein. Um, it's just very easy to take. Pink Himalayan salt. will be meal numero two. Gonna get stuck into this. So this is a a relatively easy meal. Um, well, it's not so easy when you've got 10 eggs, but splitting it up like this isn't too bad, actually. Number two, which is mid-morning snack, we have got a banana, and we have got protein shake, but it's vegan, isolate, whey, lemon and lime flavour. Very, very nice. Like a lemon and lime juice, so here we here we ready for this, see at the bottom. Mm. Mm. Sweet. Mm. Maybe in the next few days. You might start seeing me adding in burgers and chips. Well, you will, I'll be putting all over Instagram. Uh, burger and chips, more cheap meals, etc., etc. But right now, I feel decent, I feel fit, and I'm enjoying my banana. I used to be addicted to bananas. That is actually, no word of a lie, my first banana in 2021. 1000%. It's even with apples, I've not actually. I used to eat like four to five apples a day. I was addicted to apples, and I don't think I've had an apple in over a year. So it's not on the plan and it's just it's weird but like i see apples i'm like i can't actually have it because it's not on my plan so yeah i'm not eating an apple in a year and i miss them i miss them very much but i still like this as well first banana this year so it's pretty weird because usually the fruit i have is strawberries or raspberries or grapes uh, they're easy and they're all, i know that they're on my plan so but it's pretty weird to find that these used to be like one of my favorite fruits and i haven't even taken them right guys I'm gonna finish up this. 
to you for lunch. Meal number three, we have our bubble and goose meal prep. So we have rice, as you can see. Um, this is all our custom um, meal portions that Tom and I get from Bubble and Goose, which is so easy. Just easy for me, so mints, uh, bolognese, and some vegetables and some rice. Uh, so basically what I do, I get a big bowl, just fire it all in there. So, all the rice and the potatoes in there. All this goes in here. Da -da 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 -da. So that's my bowl of goodness. I'll put that in for five minutes in the microwave. Or the joy of having a meal prep. It's just dead simple, so I have two of them a day, and it just keeps things nice and easy. So that's that. So we will be training in about an hour and a half. I'll try and get that down as quick as I can. So here we have meal number three. Um, last meal before training. Uh, I prefer this type of meal before training as opposed to like a big steak. I find it harder to break down the, the beef, the steak, so hopefully it won't be too bloated when we're deadlifting today. Just left with potato, a couple of potatoes. They're actually part of another meal, so. Or maybe I'm just lying and I'm full. Anyway, meal three, pre-workout meal done. I'm gonna go train. Got an hour to go, so I'm gonna get ready for that. And then we'll see you for meal number four. Meal number three is lunch. So we have mince, 340 grams, veg, four bits of bread from the trusty Bubble and goose, and this is what we're using for. Um, <laughs> I don't even know how to say that word. It's big, basically pickled uh, cabbage to help with like kind of um, digestive and probiotics and stuff. So yeah, it's this bit here. But yeah, meal free. So let's do this. So guys, we're just about finished meal in the meadow. Free. So uh, finish this up and then you'll see you for the pre-gym meal. Getting ready for the gym. We have three scoops protein shake, whey protein and four donuts. So I'm just gonna eat this, get this down me, then we'll be ready for the gym. Let's go. Oh yeah, baby. Give me a oh yeah. <laughs> Four eyes. I bet them two. <laughs> Pre workout meal. We are going to go to the gym and then we are going to go and have meal number. Right. It's still. We're still having the. Donuts in the protein shake, we're not switched to the cheeseburgers or the burgers yet, so Nathan, hopefully soon we get to watch do that because I've not got any belly, I've got abs now, so yeah. <laughs> So that's deadlift with a beast of a session there, absolutely knackered, and lying on the floor for about half an hour. Um, so this is my uh, post-workout meal. So it's one protein source, 400 grams of yoghurt, natural yoghurt, which is this. I like to get a little bit of honey flavour in it. And then easy carbs, Nature Valley bars, a couple of them to get down me before the, the bubble and goose meal, which will follow this. So I will eat this. Ooh, this looks quite creamy, actually. Do you like to lick the lid or just throw it in the bin like this? I like to lick it. Mm. I'm going to slow them all this seven. I like to crunch these up in the pack, so it's just like muesli or, or some kind of cereal, so I break up the nature bars and just put them in with the yoghurt, it's just, it's just easier to eat for me, um, sometimes these can be quite dry when you're just eating them by themselves, so if you throw into the yoghurt, it moistens them up a little bit and it reminds me of a little pudding. Mm. 
and then sugar. Second nature valley bark. Simple. That was better that one. Mix it up in the yogurt, and then it goes nice and soft. And like I say, it's like a little pudding then. So it's like a little cheat meal, but it's not. Matt, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm. as opposed to a meal, how was your deadlifts today, Tom? Deadlifts? Yeah, they were fine. So, guys, dinner tonight is made by the sh chef wife steak burgers, potato wedges, and veg. I'm gonna finish this meal off and we will see you for the next. Stay tuned. Mwah. Wait, I should have seen show my bike. So, as we're filming food, so I write all my food out. Um, here, so as I was saying this morning, I had my one vegan uh, protein shake. So this meal now um, is this one here. So I need one protein, one veg, one carb. So that's as I've said. We had this one. That was my uh, pre-gym meal, uh, bubble and goose. So I'm going to have my other bubble and goose meal. So I have two bubble and goose meals a day. Um, so this is my yeah basically my big evening meal. So I'll have this one. So let's see if we've got something in the fridge. Something that I prepared earlier. Um, so we have carbs, the mince and the veg. We've asked for some potatoes so I'm going to have potatoes with this meal. So I take the potatoes out because that's one portion of carbs or I can have rice but I prefer the potatoes today just because I've had quite a lot of rice already today, so. Potatoes. One here. One, two, three. Stuff in here. So for four minutes, I put that in the microwave, and then that's it ready. And that's the joys of having like a meal prep, is it's just so easy. So I can just come back, put it in the microwave, job done. I know I'm getting, it's like the best ingredients. It's, it's Campbell's beef they use as well, so. Um, Everything's all Gucci, so we'll see you in 3 minutes and 25 seconds when I'm going to eat it. Right guys, so this is the bubble and goose meal. Um, I just mix it up and I just get it down me. Our diets are very extreme, but there's a reason why it's extreme, because we are trying to be the strongest man in the world. So this diet's catered, tailor-made to myself, and then like just like Tom's, Tom's is tailor-made for him, so it's all very performance-based. Um, I dare say that if like the average Joe, Joe public kind of eat what we eat, um, you'd probably be sick. You know, it's not the, um, it's not the easiest of foods to kind of get down. And um, but when it's in your head that all you're doing is just it's just for a job. This is our job. So eating, fueling my body, all this stuff. This is a job. This is all focused to being the world's strongest man. You know, that's what we've got to kind of tell ourselves. So. You know, waking up at five o'clock in the morning or having your first meal at six a.m. The reason behind that is we can fit in more food and have more time to digest it before training. So I like to have kind of three meals um, before training and make it f so I'm kind of not too bloated. Eating this amount of food it makes you very bloated and frequent the toilet quite a lot, as you probably can imagine. Do you ever find that you find it hard to cope not being able to eat your favourite foods? <laughs> um. I haven't actually been too bad this time because I think we've changed our mindset now. This prep for World's Strongest Man, we want it to be the best prep we've we've ever had. So, with that in mind, again, we've got to treat every meal. Um, that's doing a purpose, you know. So, if we were to go off and have um, Burger King's, KFCs, whatever, those meals aren't tailor made for us. They're not. They're not in the diet. So, if we kind of go off our diet, but um, in any sense then we're not doing our job properly and we're not kind of fulfilling the prep. Uh, we keep talking about the prep, the prep, the prep for World's Strongest Man. We're not fulfilling our end of the bargain. Um, and then for you guys watching, you know, we want to do our, our best for you guys because you're the reason why we can do this. So it's it does get a, a bit tiresome sometimes when you're eating this meal two times a day, 10 eggs a day, protein shakes, um, porridge every day. It, it does get a bit monotonous but um 
you know, come the weekend we get a refeed, um, usually Friday night, Saturday night, um, we get a, like a refeed meal, so it's a cheap meal, um, because that's our events day, so Friday's our events day and Saturday's our events day as well, so we need to kind of restore the body. Yeah, it's, it's maybe a bit we can't just go out and have, you know, whatever we want, but there's a, a reason why we're doing that, and that's to be the best in the world. And that's wheel number five finished. So I've got to go back down to the gym now. We've got some orders and stuff to do. So I'll probably have my last meal down there. Guys, last meal of the night before bed, 10 p.m. It is whey protein, strawberries. Uh, gonna eat this and then go to sleep. So let's do this. Boom. So guys, like I said, last meal, strawberry. Guys, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, stay safe, smile and stay spicy.